Yo, what is up, YouTube? Back with another video. Today, we are going over the AFC wildcard matchup between the Bills and the Colts. The number two seed Buffalo Bills have a home playoff game for the first time in over 20 years. And how fortunate is that? The NFL is allowing Buffalo Bills fans to come to this game first time this season. They are allowing 6,000 crazy Buffalo Bills fans, crazy in a good way. But these fans are, you know, very passionate about their team. And I'm sure they are hoping for a home win against the Colts. The Colts make the playoffs since Andrew Luck retired. And I'm pretty sure they're hoping to get this win too, obviously. And this is going to be a pretty decent game. So I just want to give you my opinions on both of these teams real quick. Number one, we got the Bills. I believe the Bills are the best team in the NFL, straight up. I'm not a Bills fan, and I'm a Steelers fan. I actually want the Steelers to win the Super Bowl, but straight up, I think the Bills are probably the best in the league, and I think they're favorites to win the Super Bowl. They are just too dynamic on offense. The Indianapolis Colts, on the other hand, they look very dominant in the first half of football games. They have a strong defensive effort, and they... You know, they score on first drives in mostly every game they've played since, like, I don't know, week eight or something. This team's been strong in the first half. But in the second half of games, the Indianapolis Colts, they start straying away from the purpose of winning. Their offense stops playing good, and their defense allows points. We saw this week 16 against the Steelers, an absolute flip of the script uh, in the second half. Just gave up a lot of points, and their offense just stopped playing good. So if the Colts can maintain a defensive effort and offensive effort for all four quarters in this game against the Bills, it's going to be a good fight. But the question is, what's going to happen? Is the, are the Colts going to do that? And are the Bills just going to steamroll them like they have with every team in the league? So I need to talk about the Bills first for you to understand the Colts. The Bills, they started the season, I believe, like five and three, maybe six and three. But ever since, this team just doesn't lose games. Um, this team's just been absolutely dominant. The only games they've lost were they, like the Titans and the Ravens and some other random team I don't remember. But the Bills, you know, ever since the second, you know, the middle of the season, this team's just absolutely been steamrolling every opponent. And they are doing that with, in my opinion, the NFL MVP, Josh Allen. Josh Allen, he just looks like a different player. He can throw the football. He's got 20 years in the pocket to make his mind up. And if he doesn't throw the football, which is rare, he runs it for a first down. Josh Allen is special. The Bills offense is unstoppable. The reason why the Bills are probably the best team in the league is because Josh Allen has so much time to throw the football. He stands in the pocket literally for days. Days just stands there. Waits for his receiver to get open, mostly Stephon Diggs, John Brown, Cole Beasley. Just waits for them to get open. Dawson Knox sometimes. And once he's open, once they're open, the dude just throws it to them. 80-yard, you know, pass half the time, you know, and it's complete every single time. And that's how the Bills have been playing for the last, you know, month or two. It's just unstoppable. The Bills don't, you know, run the football too frequently. And not relatively the best football running team. But why, why do you care about running the ball when Josh Allen just, you know, absolutely destroys you every single game? This team has been putting up 40 plus points week by week by week. It's unstoppable. And for me to talk about the Colts, I just got to point this simple fact out that to win against the Bills, you got to stop Josh Allen. It doesn't matter what team you are in the NFL. Give me any team, even the Chiefs. I think if you go head to head, no defense you know, a horrible defense on both sides of the football field. The Bills are going to win every time because their offense is unstoppable. This means in a shootout, which team's going to win? The Bills. Every single time, even the Chiefs can outperform the Bills on offense. The Bills offense is just unstoppable. I'll stick by that even until this team's Super Bowl, probably. Honestly, they probably will be. It's just completion after touchdown after touchdown after completion for the Bills offense. It's unstoppable. And like I said, no other offense in the league can compare. So what does this mean? And how are the Colts going to combat against this simple fact? 
So the point I'm getting to is that you're not going to, you know, go head to head. You're not going to score a touchdown. They're going to score a touchdown. You score a touchdown. That's not how you're going to win this game. It's not going to be an offensive effort by the Colts, even though they need to score a lot of points, obviously. But if you want to win this game, the number one thing to do is to sack Josh Allen. This is something that no team has basically done in the last couple of months. The Bills have just been absolute dominant. Josh Allen has so much time to throw the football, especially since the offensive line that he's working with is so very good. It creates so much time. He literally stands there for days to look for someone to throw it. If no one's open, boom, runs the ball for a first down. So if you even want to stand a chance in this game, the only thing the Colts can do is stop Josh Allen. How do you do that? You need to sack him. So here are the two things the Colts need to do. Very simple. But when it comes game day, is it going to happen? Probably not. Number one, contain the wide receivers. This includes containing Stefan Diggs and John Brown. Cole Beasley sometimes, Dawson Knox sometimes. Too many targets. But you got to contain those two main receivers the entire game. They cannot touch the football. And if they do, it's an automatic first down for the Bills. Part two of this simple fact is that if you contain these receivers, Josh Allen is going to have to stand in the pocket for longer and longer and longer. And that gives the Colts defensive line, especially Darius Leonard, the opportunity to sack Josh Allen, maybe cause a forced fumble and turn the ball over. This is the only way the Colts are going to win this game. Why do I say this? Why do I not even mention the Colts offense? Simple as that. The Bills offense is better than every offense in the league. So if you don't contain their offense, then how are you supposed to outscore them when they are better than you? You cannot. So obviously the Colts, they need to put up a lot of points on offense. They can do that. They have the opportunity to do that. They have been doing that recently, especially their rushing game is beginning better and better, especially with Taylor. This offense is pretty good. It's going to put up points in this game. But like I said, you don't want to have a shootout against the Bills. You need to contain Josh Allen. And the answer to your question, is that possible? The answer is no. And that's why I think the Bills are going to win this game. They're probably going to go to the Super Bowl, no joke. Even though they're second seed, they have to go through Kansas City, potentially. I still believe the Bills are probably the best team in the league. No team's going to stop Josh Allen. And like I said, Darius Leonard, key to this game. Defensive line, key to this game. Stop Josh Allen. Sack him. Turn the ball over. Only way you're going to win. And that's basically it. So comment down your score predictions below. I'm honestly, you know, putting the Bills like probably the 30s, high 30s, low 40s. That's how many points I think they're going to put up. They have the potential. They probably will. The Colts, they're going to, you know, score in the 20s, high 20s, low 30s. And this game is going to be a 10 to 20 point game. Give me the Colts losing, of course, 20 to 40 Bills. Comment down your predictions below. Thanks for watching. Adios.